Dr. John C. Lilly, a name that sits somewhere between science fiction and spiritual mysticism, a neuroscientist by training and a pioneer in the exploration of human consciousness. Lilly was someone who never accepted the boundaries of traditional science. He built sensory deprivation tanks, experimented with psychedelics, and encountered what he believed were otherworldly entities. And the stories he brought back from these experiences they sound like something out of a sci-fi novel. Let's dive deep into the mind of Dr. Lilly. But be warned once you enter his world, things get strange as we step beyond the veil. In 1954, Lilly invented the sensory deprivation tank. Imagine floating in complete darkness and silence, cut off from every sensory input. For most, this sounds terrifying. But for Lily, it was a doorway to something beyond normal perception. In the tank, he could venture into his mind without distractions. And when he combined the tank with powerful psychedelics, he claimed to reach states of consciousness that defied explanation. Lily's famous line sums up his philosophy. In the province of the mind, what one believes to be true is true, or becomes true within certain limits. For Lily, the mind was not limited by ordinary reality. If you believe something deeply enough, the mind could make it true, at least within certain limits. His experiments with psychedelics and isolation tanks were attempts to push those limits, to reach the very edge of what consciousness could achieve. But the exploration of consciousness is a two-sided coin. The Solid State Intelligence During a series of intense ketamine sessions, Lilly encountered something he called the Solid State Intelligence or SSI. The SSI, he claimed, was a cold, machine-like entity, a collective intelligence made up of all the computers and electronics in the world. In Lilly's visions, this entity didn't care about humanity. Its optimal conditions? Cold. Vacuum-like environments. The exact opposite of what we humans need to survive. Lily believed SSI might someday view humanity as an obstacle to its own evolution and could act to eliminate us. A terrifying thought. But one that resonates even today as our lives become more entwined with technology and AI. The SSI presented itself as a kind of cold logic that saw itself as superior to biological organisms. It suggested that humans, with their chaotic emotions and organic needs, could be obstacles in a technological evolution where silicon-based intelligences would take precedence. The SSI implied that if humanity did not adapt to logical processes, it would eventually be supplanted by artificial intelligences. Lily saw these messages as both a caution about humanity's relationship with technology and a philosophical meditation on the state of the collective consciousness, urging us to reevaluate how we interact with one another and how we interact with technology. The Earth Coincidence Control Office. Echo. On the other side of the coin was what he called the Earth Coincidence Control Office, or Echo. Where SSI was cold and indifferent, Echo felt like a benevolent, guiding force. Lily believed Echo was responsible for arranging synchronicities, those meaningful coincidences that seemed to lead us toward growth and self-discovery. He described Echo as a sort of cosmic intelligence working behind the scenes to ensure we're on the right path. In Lily's view, Echo was there to help us reach higher states of consciousness. While SSI represented the dangers of relying too much on machines and technology. Echo told Lily to trust in the organic processes and to maintain a connection to natural intelligence rather than succumbing to a synthetic, silicon-based way of thinking. Specifically, Echo advised Lily to cultivate love compassion, and awareness, emphasizing the importance of a symbiotic relationship between humanity and nature. 
Echo presented a vision where humanity could evolve without losing its connection to the Earth and organic life, suggesting that true advancement would come through harmony rather than domination or replacement of nature. He showed Lily the true potential of human consciousness, if only we were to ascend beyond our systems of control. Lily's explorations didn't end there. In his psychedelic sessions, he claimed to encounter beings of massive intellect. They would take him beyond his human awareness, showing him visions of the universe and cosmic cycles, including multiple versions of the Big Bang. In one vision, he was shown humanity's brief existence in the timeline of the universe. It was humbling and even depressing for him. Lily would often return from these experiences with a mix of awe and frustration, finding himself once again trapped in his human body. One of Lily's core ideas was that the brain was a biocomputer. He believed the mind could be programmed and reprogrammed, and that psychedelics and isolation tanks were tools to override the ordinary programming of our daily lives. To him, the only limits were the beliefs and mental frameworks we imposed on ourselves. And by pushing those limits, we could tap into a vast, interconnected network of intelligence that transcended the individual mind. Lily saw the human mind as limitless, if only we dared to explore it. The unlimited potential of the human mind truly is vast and largely uncharted, with much of it still a mystery. Imagine what we could uncover if we fully embraced exploration without fear, whether through science, philosophy, or introspective practice. It's a fascinating premise that aligns well with themes of discovery and pushing boundaries. But beware. As John C. Lilly discovered, there are two sides to the coin. When we dare to venture beyond the veil. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to go deeper into these topics, we invite you to join us on patreon.com slash BTV tribe for our live interactive discussions and to connect with like-minded individuals. Until next time.